Good morning. Good morning. Trust you are well. Trust you slept well. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Can we begin to exalt the name of the Lord? He's good. He's kind. He's faithful. He's just. He's our God. He's our Father. He's our helper. He's the glory and the lift of our heads. Father, we're grateful to you. Thank 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 you for your covenant of day and night. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful, Jesus. Thank you. Can you just open your mouth and say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you. Oh Lord God, I thank you. Oh Lord God, I thank you. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I'm grateful for yesterday. I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for always. Thank you, Father, because your faithfulness never fails. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Father, we are grateful to you. We just want to say thank you. We thank you for shining your light upon us this morning. Thank you for causing the dawn to break upon us, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you. 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 Lord, we thank you. All that we have to say to you in this day is that we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for, for meeting our needs. Thank you, O oh God, for watching over us. Thank you, O oh God, for proclaiming your word over us, Lord. We thank you. Oh, we live for you. In you, we live, we move, and have our being. Heavenly Father, we thank you. As a house, Lord, we give you glory. We worship you. Our mouths declare that you are good and your mercies endure forever. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you for never forgetting us, never leaving us, forsaking us. Thank you for your word. Can we thank the Lord for his sure mercies? Oh, we see each day over our lives, over our families, over our jobs, over our career, over our businesses, over his faithfulness in our lives and even in the lives of those around us. Father, we thank you. Thank you for making us a display of your goodness. Thank you, oh God, for making us a masterpiece, showing forth your kindness, your faithfulness. Oh, how good you've been, how awesome you've been, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful and we say thank you. We are grateful and we say thank you. We are grateful and we say thank you. We don't want to forget. We don't want to forget, Lord. We don't want to forget. We are, we are, we are, we are intentional to say thank you. We are intentional, Lord, to say thank you. Lord, that's all we have this morning. We just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Can somebody this morning give God praise? Can we give God thanks for health? Lord, we thank you. Thank you for health and wholeness. Thank you for sound mind. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, oh God, each day we wake up. Thank you for strength in our bodies. Thank you, oh God, because you know us, even in our very innermost being, because you are the one who weaved us. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for our bodies. Thank you for our minds. Thank you for our spirits and our soul. Lord, we are grateful to you. Oh, we give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because we wake up in the morning. We lift up our hands. We can lift them. We lift up our legs. We can lift them. Thank you because you are the one who are waking us morning after morning, day after day. You take us out. You bring us in. Oh, thank you, Father. For in you, we Live indeed, we live and have our being. Thank you, God, for causing all our heart desire to prosper. Can we just give God thanks? That's what we owe Him in this time. Can we give Him thanks? He has done us well. Were we not the same persons who saw the first day of this year, 2022? Here we are, the 20th of, the, of, the, of December. This same year, Lord, you have been good. Indeed, it has been your year. Lord, we thank you. 
Thank you for carrying us through day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute, second after second. Lord, we worship you. We magnify you over our lives, over our families, over our children, over our spouses. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Father. Thank you for everything that you have committed even into our hands. They have prospered. They have grown in leaps and in bounds. We too, we have grown. We have grown in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding. Father, we thank you. You are the one who makes us to flourish. Lord, we give you praise. Father, we thank you. Can we just thank the Lord for IRA? Let's thank the Lord. Let's be intentional. Father, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, for intercessors academy around revival academy lord we thank you because lord you, she's become like one in your hands that is chasing we're not just only one chasing a thousand but you've made us a mighty army lord we give you praise thank you for bringing people for far and wide thank you oh god for calling solitaries lord into family we give you lord we give you praise we thank you father for finding us a place for expression for finding us a place for community and safety for finding a place for growth we magnify you we thank you for nourishing our souls and our spirit we thank you oh god for anchoring us lord in your truth we bless your holy name can we give god praise for his station and over even in this year lord we thank you we thank you, oh God, in the first quarter, you stretched us, you stretched us, you told us the strength made you who spoke the word also came through, helping us to go through that stretching, building our capacity, expanding our perspective. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We are grateful, oh God, because you are the one who works in us both to do and to will of your good pleasure. We are grateful to you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, because you are the originator of this work. Lord, no man can come to you if you don't call them. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the convener and founder, Pastor Emisio Olabi. We bless you, Lord. Can we thank God for the hope of 365 network. It was this year, February, that the Lord caused that the, that the vision be expanded. Let's, let's thank God for what he has done. Even in this year, it has been your mercy, Lord. Ah, you are the one who gives one an idea. You are the one who gives one an instruction and also gives us the resources, the capacity to be able to, to cause those, those instructions to be done. Lord, it is not by our power, it is not by our might. We are just the vessel in your hand. Thank you for finding us worthy to use us, Lord. Who are we and our household? Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you for your kindness. We thank you, oh God, even we go for the first when friends pray in February this year. You manifested yourself. You proved yourself over and over again why you are for us and not against us. Bless you, God. We thank you. We thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for your short word of prophecies, Lord. We give you praise, Lord, that you have anchored this community even upon your word. Oh, that never shifts, that never fails, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for fit for purpose, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for the running and the, and the proceeding word that each one received. And we thank you for what you helped us, Lord, even to accomplish in the first quarter. We thank you, Jesus. And then, Lord, you brought us into the second quarter and you, you led us by, by your spirit, Lord. Thank you, O oh God, because you broke forth on us with bad parasim, Lord. You broke, you broke through for us. You caused us to break through on the left and on the right. Thank you, O oh God, for families that you began to establish. Thank you for relationships that you, got, you began to, to repair. Thank you, O oh God, for things that you began to walk on even within us and outside of us we grateful jesus we're not all mindful of the things that you have done we intentionally remember them this morning and we bring them to heart and we come to say thank you as a house lord we say thank you as a house lord we say thank you as a house oh god we say thank you thank you oh god for visitations and encounters lord Thank you, oh God, for movement, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for strength, oh God. We give you praise. Oh, can, can someone just be, be grateful this morning? Grateful people, open your mouth and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for you are good and your mercies endure forever. 
Thank you. Because if we were not the Lord on our side, what would Israel be saying? What would IRA be saying? Lord, we thank you because you are the one who's on our side. We give you glory. We give you praise. Eternal Father, we worship you. Ah, maker of all things, we adore you. Alpha and Omega, we give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Father, we thank you for the third quarter because you brought us even in, into a place of rich fulfillment. Thank you, oh God, because in that season, you caused us to make spiritual progress even upon our high places. You caused us to gain strength even in places where we never imagined that we could have strength. Thank you for showing our, our, us new perspective, even ways in which to work with you. Thank you, oh God, for bringing us, oh God, even our heart, anchoring our heart upon your strength, knowing that whatever is going on within or outside of us, you are the one who have done it, and you are the one who is able to do it. We thank you, Father, because we have recorded more testimonies than we could ever have recorded Yes, even leading on to this. Lord, we give you praise for every person on this in this community. Lord, this morning we intentionally thank you for babies. Thank you for pregnancies. Thank you, oh God, for progress, for promotion in the workplace, for favor, oh God, even in business, in businesses. Oh God, for promotion, for opportunities, Lord, for life. Ah, Father, we're grateful. Thank you, Oga, for healing and health. Thank you, Oga, for strength, even to go through the, the hard seasons. Thank you, Oga, because you never left us. You never forsook us. You were with us and you are still always with us. We are intentionally grateful this morning. And we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba. We give you praise. Thank you, Oga, for this last quarter from bringing us into our place of ownership and establishment. Thank you, oh God, because you gave us the courage to stand like your children and declare that your kingdom come and your will be done. Thank you, oh God, because you're making a great place for us. You are broadening our horizon and giving us influence everywhere you've put us. Thank you for crowning indeed the year, oh Lord, with your goodness and causing us to reign, even to live in abundance. We are grateful to you, Lord. Thank you for every blessing that we have received. Thank you for every help that we have received. Thank you for your mercies, oh God, for you are good and your mercies endures forever. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' glorious name we have prayed. Amen. And, and in our thanksgiving, I would just want us to thank God for Nigeria. When it looked absolutely bleak, and it was like, how are we going to come through this year? The Lord turned things around. And I can significantly say of three events. In this same year, a strike that was going on for almost eight months, we cried to the Lord, and he heard us. And he delivered us and he brought us a breakthrough. The Asu strike came to an end and things changed. Even when he looked as if he was looking like, was it going to be possible? But the Lord made it true. That same, in this same year, the political atmosphere changed. The, the Lord caused things that were, were never imagined to happen, even in this nation, Nigeria. He caused it to happen. The, the political landscape is not like it had ever been before. It has been the Lord's mercy over this nation. The Lord has heard our cry, and we are grateful because he is kind. In this same year, the dollar, the Naira has, has been hit back to back because of all the global upheavals. But the Lord has brought Nigeria through the hard times. And here we are, we are standing. We are not, even if men are saying that there's a casting down, Lord, we are the same people that are looking forward to joyfully celebrate this season with our family. We are not in, we are not in, in depression. We are not in such a place where people are hopeless, hungry, or dejected. It's been the Lord's mercy. Can we just lift up our voice and cry and just say, thank you, Lord, for Nigeria. Thank you, Lord, for Nigeria. Father, we thank you. Thank you for coming through for us in our education system. Thank you for coming through for us in the politics. Thank you for coming through for us, oh God, even in our economy and, in our, and, and even over our money. Lord, we thank you, God, where we could have said that things are bad and worse. But Lord, we thank you that you are equal. It could. It, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as worse. More than this. But Lord, we have received your kindness and your favor. You have shown us that you can be trusted. 
Lord, we are grateful to you. We bless you, O oh God. We thank you. That is the object of our devotion to you this morning. We just want to say thank you. Lord, we just want to say thank you. We intentionally remember. We remember, oh God, what you've done for us at the level of our families, Lord. We remember, we remember, we remember where we were in the beginning of this year. And we, we bring to mind, oh God, where we are right now. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, Lord, what would we have said? But Lord, we can say right now that you've not left us. You are still with us. You are always by our side. Father, we thank you. We are grateful people. We are grateful people. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you for all the shakings, even in the world. We thank you for all the shaking. We thank you, Lord. Even when we were not glad about the Christ in Russia and Ukraine, Lord, you still were fulfilling your purpose even in the midst of that upheaval. Thank you, O God, because crises in your head are a point where you need to shake all the things that need to be shaken. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. It could have been worse. But Lord, we thank you for where we are. Lord, our lives have been precious in your hands. We thank you, Jesus. We are grateful people and we say thank you. We are grateful people and we say thank you. What can we render? What can we render? Oh, what can we render? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, oh God? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh God? I render praises, I render praises, I render praises to you, O oh God. I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh God? We render to you all our praise, all our worship, all our adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We magnify you. We bless you. We are grateful to you. We are we are mindful that you've been kind, that you've been that you've been good. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. We thank you, God. We give you all the glory. We magnify your holy name, O oh God. May your name be forever praised in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. We bless you. 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 We offer to you this morning, just like it said in Hebrews 13, 15. Therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. Our allegiance is to his name. He's the one who is by his name that we have come through high waters and, and seas and valleys and mountains, and yet we're not consumed. We've come through fire, we've come through turmoil, we've come through hardship, we've come through challenges, yet we are made strong. Even by the saving arm of our God, Lord, we are grateful to you and we thank you. We thank you because you can be trusted. We thank you, oh God, because it is not a fluke that our trust is in you. Thank you because you have come through every time and again. You can be trusted. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for opening our eyes to what's most important, even in your heart. Thank you, oh God, for making us even that we want us to be, a, a, a holy people to you, oh God. Father, we thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, glorious God. We magnify your holy name. We glorify you. We bless your name, oh God. We might, we say to you, oh God, be all the glory. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We can thank you for the rest of this morning. We can thank you because we have more than enough reason to. Lord, we will not shy away from praising you. We will not even be, we will not be, we will not be, be, be minimal with our praise and our thanksgiving because you deserve it all. And Lord, we know that as we project for the new year, where to start is to look back. That if you could have done it before, will you not do it again? You can do it again and again and again because you can be trusted. And that on, upon that, Lord, we, we write this morning and we say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 
And we say this morning, Ore Ramapo, O Junior in Okolo, Meloni Moro, a fiction shama duba, Ore Ramapo, O Junior in Okolo, Meloni Moro, a fiction shama duba. Father, we will continue to praise you. As we come to remembrance of all that you've done, Lord, we will, we will continue to praise you. And we will continue to give you the praise and the glory that is due your name. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, O oh God. We bless your holy name. For in Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Amen. This morning, we're just going to be praying from this scripture and just, you know, admonishing ourselves that in this season, of Christmas in this season of giving, that the light is what the Lord gave. In, in, in Genesis 1, he said there was darkness upon the, the face of the deep, and the spirit of the Lord hovered around it, hovered around it. Even that is the same situation where the world is right now. There's darkness, there's darkness because when man thinks that he can live life on his own terms without God, he's living in a dark world. He's living in, in a dark reality. He's living his life without God and that life will be dark. But here we are, we are declaring the mandate of God that over this season, where we're remembering the entrance of the light of the world into the air, that Lord, by every activity of everyone, by, whether by the time we share with our family and friends, even by the, the, the charitable and humanitarian work that some people will be going out to give out and show love to others, that Lord, we declare that let your light, let your light shine. Let your light shine for all to see. Let your light shine through us, shine through our work, shine through our words, shine through our lives for all to see. We arise, everyone as we arise, as we go out, as we fulfill the mandate that you have given us to us to love our neighbors even as ourselves. Lord, it is not us, it is you, Jesus, that came into the world. You are the light that lightens up everyone. We pray in this season. Can we just pray that the Lord will cause his light to shine by every gesture everyone will partake in. In the name of Jesus, whether we give, whether we partake in, 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 in making events to happen, that Lord, your light, Jesus, the light of this season will be, will shine for all to see. In the name of Jesus, you will shine in our families, you will shine in our communities, you will shine in our offices, you will shine through our lives, you will shine through our work. In the name of Jesus, you will shine through personal encounters you will have with people in their homes, even while they are rejoicing and having fun with their family. That Lord Jesus, in this season, we will not miss the message. We will not miss you. You are the reason for the season. We pray in the name of Jesus that your light, you, the light, will be seen in the name of Jesus. It will no longer be us, that we are just a vessel. You are the one shining through us. Let that be the reality of this season. In the name of the of the Lord. We pray that for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. You are the glory that is shining through us. It is not us. It is you, Jesus. We pray in everything we do, the words we speak, the gifts we give, even, even in, our, in, our, in all that we will do, Lord. Let you be seen. Let your glory be seen, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that regardless of the darkness, the Bible says that the darkness covered the earth and cross God darkness the people. But the glory of the Lord rises and appears over us. We pray, oh God, let your glory shine. Jesus, make your praise glorious. Make yourself famous in this season in the name of Jesus. Over all the nations of the earth, we declare, let your light shine. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Jesus, let your light shine. You are the one who was not you through whom your witness, the angel appeared even to the shepherds in the field. You saw them in an amazing spectacle. Lord, we pray upon the entry and the remembrance of your entry upon the earth. We pray in the name of Jesus to as many hearts that need you in this season, to as many dark places, cities, as many dark nations, to as many parts of our lives that are dark. Jesus, we ask that you will shine your light. In the name of Jesus, 
We have become a beneficiary of you. But yes, we want to see you more and more and more. Let your light shine even in our very lives, in our very families, in our very workplaces, only in our businesses, oh God. Let you be that, the one that people see. Let them be curious about how our life is and let them ask, what is it that makes you joyful? What is it that makes you exceptional? What is it that sets you apart? And then we can be able to speak. It is Jesus. It is not anyone. It is Jesus. It is Jesus in our home, Jesus in our streets, Jesus in our family, Jesus in, in, in the train stations, Jesus all over the nations of the earth. No matter the chaos and the crisis going out there, we declare Jesus light of the world shine like never before let no one be left in doubt about your existence and about the light that you indeed want to bring upon the earth and that you are brought let their hearts be open to accept you give them an encounter that changes their life for the rest of their life in the name of jesus let no one be left in doubt that jesus is the one we're celebrating this season in the name of jesus it is you that makes our life beautiful Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You make our life beautiful. And Lord, we will never be in doubt that you are the one who has made us like this. And men will seek you. They will ask us, who does this? Then we will tell them that it is God who works in us, both to do the will and to do pleasure. Father, we thank you. Light of the world, we worship you. We bless you. We magnify you. Oh, we give you all the glory. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open eyes, let us see beauty that makes this earth adore you. Hope for a life spent with you. Here are we to worship, here are we to bow down, here are we to say that you're our God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to us. That is our confession this morning, that you are the light of the world and you've come into our world. We declare that our eyes see, we see the beauty that you bring us, we see help that you bring us, we see hope we see joy we see peace we see hope of a life spent with you we see eternity ingrained in our heart and we seek you like never before we declare in the name of jesus that the lives of people around us will be transformed this christmas not another one this christmas by reason of your light that you will shine through us lord jesus we give you glory and we give you praise we are grateful to you, O oh God. We bless you because we know that you've heard us this morning. Blessed be your holy name, O oh God. Can we just speak the light of God over Nigeria as we go into 2023 and even to the election season? Let your light shine. 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 Let your light shine over every activity, over every work, over thing, everything that will be done. Let your light shine, 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 shine. In the name of Jesus, let your light shine. Let it cause Nigeria we have to come out from another level of darkness into light in the name of Jesus. Let us break free from the hold of darkness and the work of evil in the name of Jesus. Let your light, Jesus, be manifested over this election season and let your name alone be glorified. We give you praise, Lord, for this epoch-making event that is about to come upon us. Thank you, oh God, for understanding, for knowledge upon citizens and electorates. Thank you, oh God, for all the people that are the regulatory bodies because you will help them. Lord, we thank you because we know that you hear us. You help us to pray and to pray aright. We give you praise, we give you glory. Can we in one breath give God praise and thank God for the family, for Pastor Emisi Olabi and her husband, Pastor Olumide. Can we just be expressive of God's faithfulness? Can we just say, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your daughter. We thank you, oh God, because you can pick one man uh, in the outback and make her even that which you have proposed, even for your glory. We thank you, oh God, because your glory shines over this one. We thank you, O oh God, because your glory is seen over their family. We thank you, O oh God, because no one will stop your hand upon their life. We thank you, O oh God, because they will increase in all, in leaps and in bound. We thank you, O oh God, even to be from glory to glory, honor to honor, all to the praise and glory of your name in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this one, for making them a leading and a shining light 
and they will continue to shine your praise even to the end of the earth. We worship you, Jesus. Make your praise, make your name glorious over them. We thank you, oh God, because of what eyes have not seen, ears heard, neither has any man thought of that you will do in their life because they love you and they are called according to your purpose. We worship you, Jesus. We bless you. We magnify your holy name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to come unto you and to worship and to praise you. You deserve all the glory and all the honor. Forever, oh God, be glorified. Thank you, Jesus, because our families are blessed. Our hearts are full with joy. And we will continue to rejoice in the blessing, oh God, of who you are as a king of Israel and the one, the one and only king that is coming. We worship you, oh God. We thank you for this hope. That Christ in us is the hope of glory. We worship you. We magnify you. Blessed be your holy name, O God. For in Jesus' glorious, amazing name, we have prayed. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining. God bless you amazingly. And you do have a wonderful, terrific Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2023. May our hearts continue to flow of the goodness of the Lord on every side in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye.